Hey guys, hope you're having a wonderful Saturday. Mine's been all right. Crap went wrong. Everything is still okay. But I'm gonna take y'all around my yard and uh, what I mow every week here at home, and uh, go over some things about the upcoming week with y'all. front yard I've got it patterned in two different directions this is, uh, this is what I call a long ways and uh, so I've got it for either direction you look at it from you've got stripes so this is from the side view now I'm gonna go up top and show you the other way up at the top of the hill you can see it's going down the hill and how you do this is go uh, say that well, this week I went long ways across that way so next week I will go straight up and down like this and it, it sets the grass in a good pattern and uh, it's just something cool you can do to your yard or your customers yards um, whichever you like but I just think it looks cool just see from either side you're standing yesterday in my my weekly lawn vlog uh, for my Friday I said I was going to change the oil in my mower today and I had intentions of it but this oil filter is what I bought this is the one that goes on it as you can see a little size difference this is a 7010 that is a 7007 so i will be making a trip back to the dealership one day next week to uh exchange those out it's not that big of a deal but it is kind of out of my way to get there it's about 45 minutes from the house so just a little hiccup nothing major but um i did get it greased up and get the blade sharpened and i will put a video actually when y'all watch this that video will already be up so if you need to know how to sharpen blades and grease your mower and belky up please look at it um it's not the best quality but um just a little quick video and showing you how to how to get that done all right usually my saturdays consist of mowing working in my pumpkins and my corn and washing my truck um, now my pumpkins are at the point to where they are just going to have to grow and do their own thing i have no room to get in them and work in them you know work the weeds up anymore um, they're doing really good there's blooms and uh blooming a lot so uh they're doing good that makes me happy yesterday when i was mowing i noticed when i got done with uh with one yard that uh i had a big spot of coolant under my truck um it wasn't a whole lot it was enough for me to kind of be alarmed i looked and i uh, couldn't really see where it was coming from exactly i knew it was um the driver's side front of the engine so my thought was okay it's probably a hose or a radiator you know obviously but uh we looked at it today and we found this okay this is on the driver's side of my Cummins engine here I don't know how well y'all can see this probably not at all but there is a crack now uh, you can't really see it in this but there's a crack down the front of this little side thing here with a big hose coming out I don't know what that is um, I'm not going to attempt this myself. It will be going in the shop Monday morning as soon as they open. Um, I stopped yesterday and got some water, some distilled water to put in here. Um, that's good to run in them. Obviously, actual coolant is better. But if you buy 50-50 coolant, it's obviously half water. So, I just got some distilled water. I knew this was going to be have to have to be fixed. So I just put some water in it full of buying coolant. It has it had um I'd mixed it myself. I just bought the straight coolant. I had a water pump go out on me a few months ago. Um so when I put coolant back in it, I just mixed it myself and uh, done it that way. 
but uh, just don't run like you know just creek water in but you can run the still water in your radiator if you have to um, but I got got home yesterday I let it cool off and uh, I dumped water in it not dumped it but I put water in it um, it took about a quarter of the gallon I drove to uh, to church last night for Bible school and uh, then we went out to eat afterwards and drove home. That was about, uh, I don't know, an hour and 15 minutes of combined driving. And uh, got home last night, parked it, got up this morning and uh, checked it before I went to the bank. I, make, I always go to the bank on Saturday and make a deposit from that week for my mowing money. And uh, before I left, I poured more in it and you can see how much it's taken about a half a gallon and uh to the bank and back it's about six miles and it dumped all that out when i got back so we're going to check it and see uh see how much it's leaked since then not a terrible amount it has quite a bit in it but it's also lost quite a bit my theory is it's uh well two theories it uh it stops when it gets below that crack and it stops when it all the pressure's released from when you drive but i'm not a mechanic a lot of things i'll try myself but uh this is not one of them a lot of stuff's gonna have to come off to get to that so i'm not going to attempt it it's easier just to take this to somebody because this is going to come off this, this, um, that's going to be, have to be somehow detached. He may have to replace the whole stinking radiator, I don't know. But from what I can tell, this looks to be a separate part aside from the, the radiator itself. So, uh, hopefully he can get it back on the road quick. Uh, I don't know that much else I can do about it. So that's what I'm into today. Um stressful day but i'm going to frog gigging in a little bit so uh that's going to make it better a lot of people party on friday nights and saturday nights but i like to gig that's my stress relief and that's what gets my mind off everything but um that's about it there's a hornet's nest up here if y'all have any idea how to get rid of a hornet's nest without getting stung Please let me know. Please comment and let me know. My mom is allergic to bees. Um, her, my sister, and my mama that lives out there, um, they get out and walk every night. They walk by that. I don't want anybody to get stung. I don't want to get stung mowing either. I mow right beside that. So uh, if anybody's got a uh, tip to how to get rid of a hornet's nest, please comment and let me know. That thing needs to be out of here. There's there's cattle and horses over there. My dogs run around here. We're all outside all the time, so it needs to be gone. But uh, that about does it for this Saturday. That's what this is. What my Saturday, my Saturdays consist of: going up, going to the bank, coming back, doing mower maintenance, mowing.